Welcome to School Focus. I'm your host, Melissa Payne. Becoming a National Board Certified Teacher is a rigorous yet very rewarding process. We'll share more details about that in a moment. But first, we celebrate the 26 educators who have completed the requirements and have earned the title of being a National Board Certified Teacher for the first time. The certification is granted by the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards. Formed in 1987 as an independent nonprofit organization, the National Board, which is what it's commonly known as, developed a set of teaching and learning standards. Teachers interested in earning the certification essentially have their work assessed to determine if it meets the standards. The certification is considered the highest credential available to American educators. Prince William County Public Schools now has close to 200 National Board certified teachers, the second highest in the state. And with this, the school division has met the goal of having at least one National Board certified teacher per every 500 students. The certification is good for 10 years, but teachers may go through a renewal process. Last school year, two teachers successfully completed the renewal process. The process requires teachers to submit four portfolio entries, each with specific requirements. The process can be best described as reflective because teachers must analyze their teaching. They do this by reviewing a video of themselves presenting a lesson to their students. They also review student work and try to better understand how their presentation of a lesson can affect student learning. The school division does not require teachers to pursue this certification. It is a voluntary endeavor. There are some differences in standards for each of the 16 areas of National Board certification, but the foundation of the National Board's assessment of teachers is based on five core propositions that all teachers should have learned through their college studies and should be able to exhibit. The National Board offers 25 certificate areas that cover 16 subjects and seven different age categories. There are many reasons to pursue National Board certification. Laura Gazda, an eighth grade language arts teacher at Saunders Middle School, is doing this for her students. She expects her students to continue to grow, so she wants to set an example by growing too. She does this by seeking professional development opportunities. The National Board certification process offers a great way for her to sharpen her teaching skills. Can somebody come up with a question that we might ask using this diagram. Laura Provincio, a fifth grade teacher at Montclair Elementary School, has been teaching for 14 years. She explains what going through the process has been like for her. Um, I think it's making me go back and analyze what I'm doing by looking at my videos and looking more in depth at student work samples. I'm able to go back and look at where I can make little changes and I'm finding that even small things like changing how I question a student um, or how I facilitate a group can really uh, make a difference. Um, in improving the impact of the lesson. About 40% of the candidates will pass on their first try, but candidates who receive support through the process are more likely to achieve certification. To increase their chances, the school division has set up cohorts. The cohort is led by two National Board Certified Teachers, Karen Morakovich and Sean Baugh. As a leader of the cohort, Ms. Ba, a reading recovery specialist at Triangle Elementary School, is known as a candidate support provider. We all start on the same portfolio, Century 4. It focuses on teachers as leaders, teachers as learners, and teachers work with families and communities. And all of the certificate areas and uh, all our candidates have that same requirement for Entry 4. So we work on that together first, and then that kind of breaks them in, and they branch off on their own for the other three portfolios. During their meetings, the candidate support providers assist candidates with staying on track by helping them understand the process, explaining what information needs to be gathered, and more importantly, explaining what kind of targeted and specific language the National Board is looking for in their writings. Teachers who already have their certification also volunteer to help current candidates at the cohort meetings. In addition to the portfolio entries, candidates are required to complete a timed computer-based assessment test comprised of six content-specific questions that were developed by teachers. Candidates who attend the cohort meetings are given insight as to what to expect in this part of the certification process. Our cohort leaders are so wonderfully knowledgeable. They're master teachers, so why wouldn't I want to learn from a master teacher, right? So for me, coming, not only do they keep me on the path of where I need to be, what's going on, but we have this wonderful dialogue. There's so much that I have learned just in the classes and coming for the cohort that have already translated into my classes, that my students have already sort of grown from. It is time consuming and a lot of hard work, but I definitely feel like it's worthwhile and it's helping us to improve our teaching for all of the students in the division.
Visit the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards website to find out more. Teachers who are interested in pursuing this certification should contact Kelly Steinhaus in the Department of Human Resources. Studies by the National Research Council have found that students taught by a National Board certified teacher make higher gains on achievement tests. That's it for this edition of School Focus. Join us next time as we bring you more news and highlights from around the school division.